road blockades are up again and have entered the fourth day on the National Highway 306 at the Assam Mizoram border, a highway that is said to be Mizoram's lifeline for essential supplies. This fresh roadblock, the second in the month, returns after non withdrawal of the Mizoram forces from the border areas. Remember, the central government's intervention had eased these tensions between the two states last week. But on grounds, things seem to be going back to square one. Ratadeep joins us now for more on this. Ratadeep, what exactly is the situation on the ground? And also tell us what's causing this roadblock. That's right. In fact, uh, the roadblock continues for the fourth day today. Remember, this is the second uh, roadblock on the Mizoram Assam border uh, this month. And in fact, uh, last week, center did uh, uh, you know ease out the tension. A breakthrough was achieved, and about 300 trucks, which were last week stranded, had moved to Mizoram. But now, for the past four days, again uh, on the Assam side of the border at Lailapur, which is the last border outpost of Assam, uh, the, the trucks are stranded, which are carrying essential commodities to Mizoram. In fact, Mizoram. Mizoram has also hardened its stand, has said that it is not going to uh, move its uh, armed forces back. Remember, uh, what Assam is claiming is that in the last meeting, in the tripartite meeting that took place in presence of uh, top MHM officials, it was decided that both parties would maintain status quo given the fact there are border disputes in the area. So uh, according to uh, you know, Assam's perspective that Mizoram needs to push its forces back, but Mizoram claims that, well, we are very much in our own territory, so there is no question of uh, you know, pushing our forces back until unless the situation situation normalizes, which means the, you know, the road opens up and uh, essential supplies can reach Mizoram. And Mizoram has gone on to make very serious allegations claiming that uh, you know, uh, officials from Assam have actually instigated local people there to create this road blockade. However, today in both Kachar district of Assam and as well as uh, Karimganj, both in southern Assam, uh, you know, at the district level between the DCs, between the dist uh, deputy commissioners of uh, the neighboring uh, uh, districts of both the state, there are meetings taking place to ease out the situation. And in this uh, time a very significant uh, you know comment has come from uh, uh, bjp's go to man for the northeast himanta bishwa sharma this afternoon while talking to a media in, uh, in fact when i asked him uh, about uh, this uh, conflict which is happening at the borders he said that after the assam elections which are about 5 to 6 months away center would fast track the, uh, the solution to the border disputes in the northeast this is something which has been a bjp promise for a long time but we keep on seeing you know uh, uh, disputes shimmering in the borders of assam mizoram and other northeastern state and uh, now sharma claims that bjp is going to fast track it after the assam elections all right in fact ratni was talking about uh, that reaction let's just play that out for you i am encouraging for amicable settlement but as of now as my role is delicate both as an EDA convener and minister Assam I am not involving myself in the day-to-day -day negotiation we don't want to take the uh, we do not want to initiate a dialogue process immediately because this government has only three to four months of its tenure once a government come back with so five years mandate it is always better to negotiate it at that point of time so MHC will take it on high priority, resolving border dispute between Nagaland Assam, Arunachal Assam, Mizoram Assam. Already some groundwork has already been done. 